Hey, and welcome to a information segment on building some IKEA furniture. I'm going to be building some, I don't know what that's called, bream. Essentially, it's like a little cheap closet. Should contain everything we need to build it, so I'm just going to open it up and make sure. Some straps in here. Get those up. And everything's gonna fall apart. Just like that. Just so we can get to these instructions. IKEA does them good. Read them. This looks like it's so easy. It's got. Essentially, three types of screws and an Allen key to put together. Uh huh. All right, this is interesting. Um, yeah. First step, it wants you to find the ones that have these three dots here, but not the dot up top. So, these two have the dot up top. These are not the ones. Should be these two. That's right. Okay. Need the hardware. 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 I always get these little bags from IKEA full of all your nuts and bolts. Essentially taking the largest bolts. one of these bad boys. Okay, so this is, I guess this is the front maybe. So you're going to be doing two end ones, simply screwing them in like so. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Essentially so just right through the hole into the other hole. And you have the little Allen thingy they give you. backwards, didn't I? Yeah. Boy, boy. This is what happens when you're not paying attention trying to do a video. So you want your big hole on the outside so that your nut essentially goes in there nice and flush. Show you that on the uh, next one. Just what I'm talking about. Really should have done this with the sun the other way. So if I take a look here. That side, no, no. This side, yes, yes. So that's what you're putting in there. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. There, you're grabbing the other two. Again, they have the closed off section because these are your feet. And oh my god, what did I just do? I am not paying attention. That's what I'm doing. That's going to work out a lot better. The IKEA furniture isn't hard. You just got to think about it before you start doing stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What are these? 
think they're for the back bracing, maybe? I guess. That's the only thing I can think of that they need those lip holes for. Maybe there's a cross brace on the back. Long nuts, holes with the closed off portions, and the hole at the top facing outside. That gets us to page two. Page two essentially has us putting in secondary one of these. On the third set of holes, that's where this one goes. Same format as before, big screw into the hole. Make sure your grating is up. You don't want that lip. And this stuff goes together really, really quick. Need to, you can always loosen up the nuts you're putting in there to give it a little bit more give. Because sometimes these things aren't exactly you know, built properly, manufactured properly, if you will. And as you can see, just moving on, screwing in these things, get your Allen key, tighten it up. Super easy peasy. There you go. Sweet. Boom! Just like that, we got one piece done. Let's flip it up. Now we're going to sections. Which section are we going to? There's all sorts of pieces here. I can see these ones here. Okay, so the next pieces you're looking for here have the same bottom here, but then they have a small little hole part way up, and they have the open end plastics here. And I'm putting these on the back where the cross bracing is, so I'm guessing those little holes are to match up with future cross bracing. You will notice on the pieces themselves, they do have a little notch big hole is. Oh. Big hole will be used again for another piece I'm guessing going across. Just guessing. We'll call it an educated guess. Next we are grabbing two poles here which have the hole, the big hole, but then there's no little hole here open end here again with the plastic portion here they're going to be going on the front section like so again big hole to the front i don't think it really matters because these ones seem to move there you go moving on that looks like we're putting in some support so there are two little pieces here and you're grabbing the large large nuts and that just like you did with the other ones you're going to match up form a cross brace across or a side brace if you will feed your nut through find the hole Give it a little turn. It'll sit there. Do the same for the other side before you tighten everything up. It's in there. Grab your Allen key. Tighten it up. Not something that's in the instructions, but 
trust me, it'll make things a lot easier. Last thing you want to do is tighten things up and not be able to find the hole. And do the exact same for the other side. And that should use up all of your large nuts. In case you're wondering, I've never built this one before. I could be telling you the completely incorrect things. All right. Oh, now we're doing this fancy top piece. Fancy top piece here. Now you'll see it has the little notches here. Those fit obviously into the plastic portions at the top of each of these poles. Holes bend enough that you should be able to get this lined up pretty easily enough. Push it in there. And... Ah. Remember that cross bracing I was telling you about? The cross bracing. Here we go. So essentially, you'll see a nice flat portion of the join. I don't think it matters which side you put it on. Oh no it does because oddly enough <laughs> I don't know why but these are opposite. So on this side it's flat this way and on this one it's flat this way. I don't know if it makes sense if I'm just telling you. So notice this one here. It's flat this way. See that? Then the opposite one is the opposite way. So this particular one where it's flat this side. That one goes to this top right hand corner. And for this, we are using we're using screws. And they didn't provide us with a screwdriver. What IKEA? You're, you're killing yourself here. Normally, give me everything. I'm actually gonna have to go out and get a Phillips screwdriver, also known as the Star screwdriver. First I will just attach all these by hand. We're going to get it. got the screwdriver. Screw this sucker together. Again, don't tighten them up all the way so you've got them all in there. And once you've gotten them all screwed in almost to the end, tighten them up. Next are some, oh, well, next apparently I guess is the hanger. Put in these two pieces here, and then the last bar you got left, this one right here, that's what goes in there, so I'm guessing it's the only two. Oh, and again, this takes a screwdriver. Ikea, what are you doing? Stick your screw through. We 
You're almost done. Almost done. On to the last portion. Why do I have I have remaining I have pieces left over. Why do I have pieces left over? Oh. Oh, okay. I get ya. So now take it. We're essentially gonna look at the front here. We're gonna put this portion on. So, this should be your outside container. Pull it out. See this portion with the zipper, that's your front. One side is open, the other side is closed because that's the top. That's the front, figure it out. Shouldn't be that hard. Get inside it just like I do. You may want to get a secondary pair of hands at this point. That makes things go a lot easier, but that's okay. So now that we got her in the front, there should be three strings. That's your front. Pulling her down little by little. Like I said, it goes much easier with two people. And then the final steps are. Okay, so those three pieces at the bottom have Velcro on them. That Velcro attaches to the back. So it doesn't tell you to do this, but just lay it down. Velcro underneath. Up and around to the back. There you go. Velcro is all done. You're essentially completed. Inside, you're going to find some Velcro. Okay. First thing, the door here. Roll that up. Got a nice little strap here. And a big piece of Velcro on the outside to attach to. Second, on the sides. Both left and right, there are two pieces. They go around the two the bars here. So you can see that bar here, just around. That's just to secure it, just like so.
And then finally, the safety is number one. See on the back, they've got these grommets here. Remember those two pieces I didn't know what they were? They're extras. They attach to the top bar like so. And then this portion goes on here. That's for screwing it into your wall. So you fasten it to your wall so it won't tip over. But other than that, it's done. Easy light. There you go. Little closet. It's almost semi-portable, it's so light. You could technically take this apart and put it back together if you so wanted to. But, uh, yeah. That's all she, that's all she wrote, really. <laughs> Anyways, instructions are all right there. Follow them. You shouldn't have a problem. Hopefully that helped. And hopefully you managed to get through the Bream. I, I don't know. Brine, bream, bream. I don't know. It's Swedish. Maybe it's not even a word. It's IKEA. What do you expect? Thanks for watching. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.